This is Nancy with Creative Fun, and I wanted to show you how to use a yarn winder. This is one by Royal that I've had for a number of years. It's just a small um, uh, yarn winder thing, and it has a little clamp part at the bottom that this will clamp onto the table. And then on the top, it has this part here that's removable. You just twist it clockwise and pull it off. There's the little tabs on the bottom that hold it in. And there's a notch at the top for holding the yarn. Um, and this is the handle that spins the top. And then over here is, um, you put the yarn through this. This is the tension rod. Um, so let's hook this up <clears throat> and I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to place it onto this little clamp onto the, the um, bookshelf that I have here. And then I'm going to take my yarn, and you don't want to take the outer piece of yarn here. You want to find the inside piece of yarn. What is this stuff? This is a Patton's Lace yarn. I think I bought it for making socks. So I'm digging into the inside to see if I can find the yarn, the end piece of yarn. See how there's only one string coming out right there? That means that somewhere in this portion right here, <clears throat> since there weren't two strings coming out, is the end piece. So it's just a matter of finding it. Alright, I found the end right here, and I'm going to place it into one of these slots right here, and then bring it around. Let's see if I can give you a close-up of this. Bring it around this way, and, oops, came out. Put it back in. Bring it around this way, and you want to feed it through this hole. But instead of going through the hole um, with this end piece like this, which you can do, you can, you know, go like that. Um, you just go down, put it next to the bottom post, bring it up, down, and up. And it'll go around that little section there. I think I'm going to do that again for you. So it's going to go next to the post here, this post right there, then bring it up and it loops between these two sections right here and then down and around this thing that sticks down right there and into here okay here's the top view of it take the string the yarn put it down below pull up and it goes in between the first and the second and then down and around that little stem and then it can go into the slots all right once you have the uh the yarn in wrap this around like this and then you just hold one to this section right here a little bit and start winding i like to wind clockwise uh, when my kids help me out sometimes they'll go the opposite way the important thing is that you just keep going the same direction okay and when it comes up to your hand the best thing to do is just to be very gentle and pull it back. I'm working with a yarn that's very, got a wool-like feel to it, so it doesn't necessarily wind without getting stuck. Um, but most yarns will wind nicely. <clears throat> um, then you just keep winding it up, like so. <clears throat> that was the portion that I had out. Now I'm working with directly from the middle here and, uh, and winding it up, so I hold this. Don't mind me. Alright, now we're working from the middle. If it pops off, just scrub back one. A little tighter. Alright. And it's going to unwind the yarn from the inside of the skein. When you get towards the end, you need to go a little bit slower, or sometimes you need to take the yarn and drop it on the floor or further away from you so that it has time to untangle before it gets to your hand.
Can you see this? It's like collapsed. Okay, I'm going to drop this down to the ground. up to me a little bit and I just untangle the section here just gently and then slide it away and then wrap some more kind of like you're fishing this little tangle right here just gently pull it apart <clears throat> and I want to show you what happens when you remove your hand and don't put tension on the whole thing when you look at my skein you'll see pull it apart you have it now, to pull this off, you just want to lift up, hold the middle part here, and then lift up, and you have the skein off. Now, you can see, um, if you look at this, I have the piece that I just pulled from the middle, pulled that off. Do you see this looser section right here? That's where I was not holding it um, and putting tension on it. So, you really do want to put tension on it consistently with your hand the whole time. This still works, and I don't have any problem with this, it just doesn't look as pretty, um, but it will still work, and this side's a lot prettier, that's the bottom side. Um, often I will wrap this piece of um, paper around the middle before I start winding, and that way when I take it off, I have this in the middle already, so I know exactly what it is. Um, and that's always very helpful. Um, or you could bag this up. It depends if you're just going to use it right away or not. Um, if this middle section doesn't turn out like you want, you can rewind it by just taking it directly onto here. Same way we did before. Attach it here. And then wind it like this until you go through the whole skein again. And it's usually very simple to redo it that way. If you, if you that's it. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about using a yarn winder or better ways to do it, I would love to hear from you, and have a great day.